Let me show you a working Google Docs integration. I'm logged in as a normal user and I'm going into a share site into the document library and in the create menu I can see create Google Docs document. So when I click that up pops Google Docs and now I can create a document using all of the features that I normally would with Google Docs. I'll go ahead and give this a new name and now I can save it back to Alfresco. Now instead of having docs all over my Google Drive account, I can manage them in Alfresco like any other piece of content. That means I can uh, open up the document and see a preview. There's a preview of the doc that we just created and I can edit this if I want to make changes. So let's edit this document. It pops into Google Docs. I can make changes and then save it back. Maybe I'll make this a major, maybe I'll make it a minor. Give it a check in comment. Click OK. And now the document saved back to Alfresco. If I want to, I can scroll down and see the version history including the check-in comment that I just set. Now the problem is that this what you just saw will not work with an out-of-the-box install using the binary installer um, because of a change that was made on the Google side after the release. But let me show you where it is in the binary installer. If you click Advanced and go to the next panel you can then see that you can turn on and off the Google Docs installation um, the Google Docs integration during installation if we go into the root of our Alfresco install and I do an LS on the AMPS directory I can see the Google Docs repo AMP and if I do an ls on the share directory, I can see that AMP as well. Now, there's been a newer release of the Google Docs integration. So if we go to the wiki, to the community file list for 4.2c, I can scroll down and download the two AMPs that I need in order to upgrade the Google Docs integration. So I will download the repo AMP and download the share AMP. Now, everything I'm showing you works for installing any AMP but this just happens to be the Google Docs AMP that we're showing here. Alright so I've got those downloaded. Let's go look in my downloads directory. We should see them sitting there, the two AMPs. There they are, 20323. Now the MMT, which is the tool used to install AMPs, can tell us what AMPs have been installed in the WAR file. So let's run the list command against the Alfresco WAR file. And we can see there is the Google Docs integration version 2.0.1, which is the one that the installer put in. And we just downloaded 2.0.3. If we check share.war, we can see that one is also 201, which is what we would expect. And so now all we need to do is uh, put the newer AMPs into the Alfresco War and the Share War. So first, I will copy those AMPs into their respective AMPs directories. So let's copy the repo AMP and put it into the AMPs folder. And let's do the same thing to the share amp. The share amp needs to go into the amps share folder. And now our amps are ready to go, but the older amps are still sitting there. So it's important to remove those so that they do not get installed uh, when we run the install amps tool here in a minute. So I will go ahead and remove the old repo amp. and the old share amp. 
Now before we run the apply amps script, let's make a few changes. Um, so the, uh, the script lives in the bin directory in the root of your Alfresco install. Let's go ahead and edit that script. The first thing is on my machine, the um, set env script causes a problem. It's not really needed for what we're doing, so I'm going to comment it out. Now I'm going to add two new flags um, to the MMT. One is the force and the other is the verbo verbose. Force will force those amps to be installed and verbose will just uh, give us more output. Now we're ready to run the apply amps script. So I'll just run that. It tells me what it's about to do and that looks right. So I'm hitting a key to continue. It backs up the war file, and then because we have verbose turned on, we can see everything that the MMT is doing to the war file. So it'll first do the Alfresco war file, and then it does the share war file. Now, when it's done, it will clear out the Tomcat uh, web apps. And you can see there are 203 now. So we were at 201, and now we're at 203, which is great. So our war files have been amped and we are ready to start Alfresco. So I just did an Alfresco SH start and now let's wait for the server to come up. Okay, we've restarted the server and uh, the war files have the new amps. So let's log in and we should be able to uh, go into a test site and create Google Docs uh, content. And so this is going to look exactly like what you saw uh, at the start of the screencast. So like I said, the 42C community binary installer will install uh, Google Docs integration, but it will not work because of the change that was made on the Google side after the release. What I've just shown you is how to install new amps and these are the latest and greatest uh, Google Docs amps and they will um, fix that problem. Now what you may notice is that if you use Google Docs integration outside of a share site you'll have a problem and um, that problem has been fixed in the uh, the head of the source code. So if you want to grab the source code and build from source, then you'll end up with new amps that you can install just like I've shown you here. And then you'll be able to use Google Docs integration in share sites and in uh, other folders that are outside of share just in the repository. So now you know how to install Google Docs integration and really any amp into Alfresco.